my babies. It is um, Thursday, midday. I'm just pulling out of my garage. I'm <clears throat> running a couple errands just to go get myself uh, out the house a little bit. But I have a box I need to drop off at the post office that I'm mailing back. And then I'm gonna go to, I don't know yet. I kinda wanna like do some organization stuff. Oh, I'm gonna go try to get my eyebrows, <clears throat> what do you call it, threaded. Because I saw, I went to, the, to a mall the other day and I saw that this old place that I used to go get my stuff threaded, that they're back open, you know, with COVID and everything, they had shut down because that's how it was in Cali. Um, everything beauty related was shut down for a long period of time. <clears throat> and so because of the closeness and proximity of people being all in your grill, oh, and I'm not wearing no makeup today. This is just me. This is just second day hair. Let's talk about this real quick. No makeup, a little mascara, and that's it. Just some moisturizer and some stuff for my skin to make sure that it stays healthy as long as possible. Anywho, back to what I was saying. I'm going to go get these threaded because they are out of control. I was looking at them today and I was like, yeah, oops, sorry. I was like, yeah, I need to, um, I need to take care of these. They're starting to look like crazy. I mean, the good part is I have a lot of brow and I have good shape. So, you know, it's mostly just them perfecting them now, but I want them to look good. So without, you know, having to fill them in or anything like that. So I've been letting them grow for a while. So those are the two must do's, but <clears throat> after that, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I kind of wanted to go to this place what is that place called? Um, I can't remember. Anyway, it's a, it's an Asian store. They don't have very many of them. And they basically have all these like little small trinket type items or, you know, organization stuff. I wish there was a container store near me, but the closest ones are like far. Like I don't even like it's traffic it's a weekday you know what I'm saying and here in the bay on a weekday is like yeah no we're not getting in the car to drive wherever so I kind of want to um I want to go there but I don't want to drive to the container store there's one in San Francisco there's one in San Jose and probably one in Palo Alto maybe but I am not trying to go to any of those places in the mis middle of the day so I think that's gonna be a that's gonna be a maybe next time <laughs> so anywho that's what I'm doing so I feel fine today I feel good today I so a couple things update on the BSG um, process or progress I don't even know what to call it because it's a process there's progress I mean all of it but uh, <clears throat> I got up this morning and I tried to have decaf coffee because I wanted to see like that was something that I did it was a ritual of mine that I did all the time every single day right and right now I'm not at work because I'm recovering but um it was something that I just did it like started my day but I tried to drink it and it was like super super bitter it didn't taste good at all and I just was like, why am I forcing this? So I don't know if this is just a temporary thing with my taste buds, but my taste buds are not interested in any kind of coffee taste. I've tried a couple times now. So I just dumped it. I didn't even, I didn't even drink it. I took a couple sips. And then um, I just had my shake. I had a chocolate um, Premier Protein shake that I made. Um, I added OptiFiber and, um, collagen the vital proteins collagen um, for some extra protein so I've had about 240 calories today thus far I've had um, one and a half bottles of like probably like 24 ounces of water because I had a cup that was just water and then I had a hint bottle that was like 16 ounces so um, that's what I've had. I'm feeling a little bit hungry, but I'm gonna just keep drinking my water. I have another hint bottle right here. Um, my 
protein shake for tonight is already made at the house. So what I was thinking of doing, because I'm now um, transitioning to s the modified liquids phase, um, what I was thinking is maybe I'll grab some soup at like Panera and just drink the broth um, or um, somewhere else even like somewhere else too so there's other options right for soup I just was like trying to think of like what could I do that's a modified liquid situation so yes um that's kind of my plan for right now I'm just getting out of the house I'm sitting around doing stuff lots of going I'll be right back okay and I'm back um Tell me why is it always that the post office is like, takes so long just to like drop off packages. People be having whole conversations in there about I don't even know what. Um, so I bought this item from Amazon. It is a visor mask holder. Now I know mask mandates have lifted, but I still am gonna wear a mask. For a while because we are seeing an uptick in cases in california i don't know about anywhere else but that's what i've been seeing so i don't feel like getting covid since i just had surgery and i'm trying to be responsible as a person um you know as a human being to do my part in this thing that just won't ever go away and it's never gonna go away I mean it's always gonna be here but it just seems like every time we think we're about to be out of this mask wearing or people going back to their jobs like you know it's something going on so anyway I'm sitting here opening this up let's see what it looks like I saw someone one of my youtubers that I follow I think it's Marie J she had talked about this it comes with 10 pink masks which I don't mind but I believe you can just refill it and it sits on your visor I should have had this a long time ago yeah so it comes with 10 pink masks um, and I'm about to just put those in and you can refill it with whatever you have I have a ton of black ones so I will refill it with that when it's time but yeah, and then you just pull them out as you need them so that you don't have to remember every time you leave the house that you need a mask. Because it always seems like people in my household, they don't remember. So I'm gonna put it on my passenger side. I think it was six bucks or seven bucks or something. It was pretty inexpensive. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna use it for. And then if we ever are done with this um, thing, we're ever done with this mask mandate then I will use it for like wipes or something I think it you can probably do that if not oh well you know? so now we're off we're gonna be off to the store so yeah talk to you in a bit okay y'all yeah. okay Heading into the mall to see about getting my eyebrows waxed. So I'm trying to give you a close-up of the before. So you can kind of see. They're kind of overgrown. Need to be cleaned it up. Um, but yeah, heading in there. See if we can get these done. I'm going to try to video, but we'll see what they say. They might be like, turn that off, please. Hi. Hi. I'm back in the car and um, that was like so fast I literally walked in <laughs> sat down she did it and I was out but I wanted to show you how clean they are now like they look fantastic I haven't had my brows threaded since pre-covid so since like February of 2020 we're talking about so it's like over two years ago and then I was doing waxing I had found this girl but she was too far away um for me to go to get my brows done but she did a phenomenal job 
So yeah, it's just, I'm excited because they're clean and they're like perfect. And look, I don't even need to fill them in when they're like this because they're so defined, which is like the best thing ever. And she didn't take off too much on the ends, which sometimes people do. Excuse me, my nose is itching. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you final product. Guess what? I'm gonna go to Dee Dee's right now because Dee Dee's is right down the street and I'm just gonna go in there and see what I find because why not? I mean, I don't have a whole lot else to do, so. I hate deuces. <laughs> It's um, Saturday and it's going to be a Saturday fun day for me instead of a Sunday fun day. Please excuse me. I just worked out and did a whole bunch of stuff and so I'm just getting ready. But I wanted to come on here to show you my shake because I'm going to have my shakes. Because I'm going to be out of the house today, I'm going to take some other stuff with me. So I just wanted to loop you in on the VSG process. Um, yeah, so far so good. I feel good still. I did a lot yesterday. I think I walked the most and moved the most yesterday. So I'm trying to top that today, every day, just a little bit more. So let me show you what I'm doing. So the last thing that goes in there is this. Um, I just scooped it in there, as you can see, right on top. Um, and I'm doing this milkadamia milk, right? Um, but I also put in the collagen peptides and the OptiFiber that I've been talking about. Um, this is from Costco, Costco, GNC. That's where I got this. Um, so this is what's inside my shake. I do one scoop of this, two teaspoons of this, and then one scoop of this. It does have chunks in it, so you will need to strain it. That's why I have my strainer right here for my cup. And then I'm taking these for the day. So I'm taking um, two Premier Protein. I don't know if I want chocolate or vanilla later. So I'm just going to take them both. I'm gonna have a cooler so they're cold. I'm taking some hydration multipliers in case for some reason I feel like I need that. And then I have my hydro jug, um, which has water and one of these hydration multipliers in it. It's a gallon, as you can see. Um, but I put ice in there so it could stay really cold because you know, in the heat, it's gonna melt. So I want it to stay cold as long as possible. So I can just take sips and it has a little straw um, in the top, so. I don't have to worry about that. So I can just pull this up, take a sip. I haven't had any issues with drinking from a straw, like they say, sometimes you can have that, but I haven't, so yeah. And then I think because I'm gonna be so active today on the way home, I'm gonna stop and get myself some soup from somewhere because I'm on stage two, modified liquids. So that is my plan. These are the vitamins that I'm taking. So per my program, I followed what they recommended. And that's what you should do. Um, but today, I have to take all of these. On a daily, I usually take this and this so far. This is every other day. This one is once a week. So I'm taking all of those today. I have iron and calcium as well, but it said I have to wait according to my instructions. I have to wait until after my two-week check-in. So then I'll be starting those as well. So it's actually not as bad as I thought as far as vitamins went. I thought I was going to have to take like 20 a day but it really isn't that many. Um, but so far, so good. I haven't had any issues, so take those vitamins. It's workout time. I am trying to get some walking in. I'm gonna do 30 minutes on my treadmill, and then <clears throat> I'm gonna do some weights again because I feel it in the back of my arms which is where I'm trying to focus. So, getting it in, Sunday. Yay, yay, yay! Hey guys, so I'm in the car on my way to go play tennis. Got my racket, got my balls. I'm going to a location not too far from my house. They have an outdoor, um, they have outdoor tennis courts, but they also have an outdoor tennis practice wall, which is like what I'm actually going to be doing because I haven't played tennis in like forever. But I wanted to do something outdoor and fun. It's a beautiful day. It's 80 degrees on the car right now. Um, so it's about probably 79 or 70 something um, where I'm at. So that's a beautiful day. It's warm and it's pretty. So I just want to get out of the house. 
Um, yesterday I stayed in the house the whole day, that's why I didn't vlog, because there was nothing really to show. Um, it was just more me hanging out. I decided to take a mental health day, meaning I had too many thoughts swirling in my head because I have so many things to do that I just was like, okay, you need to decompress. So I wasn't accepting phone calls. I was just watching TV and vegetating, which is something I don't do that often. Um, I read and I just relaxed. So that was kind of my Monday. So today's Tuesday. I'm heading out, like I said. I'm actually gonna stop on my way because on the way there, there's a car wash. So I'm gonna stop and get my car washed because it's so pretty out. It's a good day to get it washed. The interior needs some assistance. So I'm debating if I wanna go through like a drive through car wash and just get it done there or do I want to go to a um, full service car wash the full service car washes around here are so expensive I don't do them that often but I feel like my interior is needing assistance so that's kind of it I mean I can clean my interior myself I might do that instead it just depends on my moods you know I feel like I should do it myself later there's just like so my interior of my car has like um, suede lining around the doors and the suede picks up like lint and stuff and so it needs to be like what do you call it lint remove the mo lint removal like roller brush thing needs to happen on the inside and just things need to be wiped down um, inside here inside there if I go get it done it will be partially done you know, so it's kind of like, hmm, what do I want to do? But I think they're like $30 for the full service car wash versus like $12. So I'm like, Airb, Airb, Airb. And then the interior doesn't end up lasting. I feel like the interior to me just doesn't last too terribly long um, when it's done because I just had it done like a month ago and I feel like when I do it it just lasts longer so I don't know I'm kind of on the fence about it I might just do the drive through and do it myself because it lasts longer but yeah that's what I'm up to excuse me and oh, I put on a hat today keep the sun out of my eyes while I'm playing tennis I'm gonna definitely take this off because it's hot outside and I have on a Nike like tank we're working out so it should be good I'm excited to go actually I've been saying I'm gonna do this I want to get back into tennis but I gotta find like a um, like a tennis group a tennis something where people you know where I can like practice and learn and get back into it before I just like commit to some kind of like meetups and stuff like that with people to play tennis so that's kind of where I am um, trying to drive so sorry but yeah uh, hope you're having a good day I'll check in with you later I may like head out somewhere and do some shopping I'm kind of in the mood but then don't want to really be spending money I'm trying to do a as close to a no spend <laughs> May as possible because the summer's coming and I have a lot of stuff planned my birthday's in June I have an event in Texas in July taking my kids on a vacation um there's just a lot a lot a lot a lot, a lot of stuff planned so no spend may let's see if we can do it anyway just checking in and i guess i will chat with y'all later bye
guys, welcome back. So I have some great news, fantastic news actually. Um, my doctor has cleared me to have soft solids, which is stage three of our program. I'm so excited about it. So I stopped so I could have dinner tonight. I went to Trader Joe's and I stopped and I got some foods that I wanna um, try. So I got this creamy cauliflower mash, which is 140 calories for a half a cup. I'm not gonna have anywhere near that, um, but it has two grams of protein and five carbs with two fiber. Um, so I'm gonna try this. It says it has butter, cream cheese, and sour cream inside it. And Trader Joe's never goes wrong. Then I got um, a bolognese. It's a tomato and beef pasta sauce because it had protein in it. And I'm trying to make sure I have protein in the things that I eat. Four grams in a serving, which is half a cup generally, 70 calories, and it has six carbs with one fiber, three sugars. And then I got these cauliflower and yoki. If you've never had these, these are delicious. They're soft when you cook them. So I'm kind of debating if I want this or this. I'm going back and forth about it. Um, I'm thinking I might go with this and just have a couple of these. These have protein in them as well, two grams per serving, three fat, um, but they are high in carbs, higher than this. Even though they're cauliflower, they have 22 grams of carbs and six fiber. And the reason is because they have cassava flour and potato starch inside them. So just wanted to kind of show you those. And then I got myself some instant oatmeal for tomorrow morning. I'm going to try to have oatmeal for breakfast. Um, and I'm going to put stevia in it and probably like a mashed banana or some kind of mashed up fruit. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I might put some mozzarella cheese on my little meatballs. Just a little bit. This is reduced fat mozzarella. Three, let's see, eight grams of protein, four fat, three carbs, 70 calories a quarter cup. I'm not going to have anywhere near that. So basically, I'm just super excited and I feel super blessed that this process has been good. I've lost about 15 pounds since the surgery. Um, and I bought these little teeny plates so that I don't feel like left out <laughs> at the dinner table um, or eating out of really huge plates. And then it's just like this little teeny portion. So um, I'm excited. I'm excited to like prep up this food and and see what I can do. I have my scale here so I can weigh it because I need to make sure that I stay within, um, you know, the certain amount of ounces that I can have. I believe for the protein, it's two ounces. And for the side, it can be either a carb, a veggie, or a, um, was it a carb, a veggie, or a fruit. And so, and I think you only can do like a quarter cup. So I'm gonna do that. And then if I get like, Later tonight, if I want to eat something else, I have some unsweetened applesauce for like dessert. But I'm also gonna try this. I don't know if you've ever seen this. Isopure um, protein that you put inside water and you should, like shake it up. It's got 20 grams in a scoop. Yeah, one scoop. It's 90 calories, 20 grams of protein, two grams of carb, one gram of sugar. So another way to get protein in I talked to the doctor about my fear of not getting enough protein and he said I shouldn't be worried that when I start switching to the regular food, it's just going to start balancing itself out. If I do need more protein, I can always do a supplemental shake or something. This morning I had a shake. I had like 35 grams. I had, let's see, 25 plus 9, 34 plus the milk. Yeah, 35 grams of protein this morning. So that means I need to hit 25 more grams today before the end of the day. So with this in my water and my food, I should be good. I was going to say I had a fantastic time playing tennis. I, I posted the video before this. I have not been on the court in like years. I mean, it, it's at least 10 years. So I was very rusty. I was not at all in like tennis player shape. Um, still have a long way to go, but I loved it. So I think I'm going to actually try to enroll in a beginner's class again to kind of like bring everything back and then go from there. So I'm super happy. I feel super blessed today. I feel like I'm going to cry a little bit because this has been a journey <clears throat> for me to get to this place and to feel comfortable in my skin. I mean, I've always been a confident person. But making the decision to do the surgery, I went back and forth with a lot of thoughts 
um, you know, like, am I making the right decision? What if something goes wrong? I mean, just all the things that you would have, like anxiety wise before having something like that. But I'm very happy that I did it. It is a struggle some days when, you know, it, I, I've talked to people and everybody's journey is so different. So you can't compare yourself to my journey. I was physically active and I ate pretty well before the surgery. I just never could be consistent for long periods of time. That is why I chose to do it. And I just feel like this is the tool that really is going to make me really buckle down because I can't, my stomach will not physically allow me to eat too much, basically. Um, I haven't had any episodes of feeling like I'm gonna vomit or anything like that, but I have had episodes of feeling overly full and uncomfortable, gassy, bloaty type of situations. So I just feel like it is something that's gonna always remind me that I don't need it, right? And I kind of feel I was sharing this with somebody I know that as humans, right, we just know what we know and like, you always are like, there's no way I can survive off of 500 calories, 800 calories or whatever, but I just did for two weeks. I just survived on 400 calories, 400 and some odd calories for two weeks. I lost weight. I'm totally fine and healthy. I'm not saying that you can do it forever. I'm just saying that my experience is that I was able to survive and nothing crazy happened as a result of that. And so, you know, we don't need as much food as we think we do. And I'm gonna start looking at food as a fuel source. So it's just my journey, it's how I feel about it. I have a long way to go, okay, to get to my goal weight. So I know that this is just the beginning and there's gonna be probably some things that happen that I'm not gonna be happy with, but such is life, it's part of the journey. Um, I've always been a person that's like super positive when it comes to these kinds of things. You take every negative and turn it into a positive. It's, you know, everything with a grain of salt, basically. So I just want to share that with you guys. I'm going to sit here and cook my food. And then, um, yeah, tomorrow is another week. So I'm probably going to close this vlog out later. But thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Um, and talk to you soon. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I cooked my first meal. Are you ready to see it? So these are, this is a little five inch plate. Um, I found them at Walmart. So it's four meatballs, which I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to eat them all. I put a sprinkle of mozzarella, five gnocchis, they're soft. And then I did a half a cup of the pasta sauce but some of it like um, evaporated because I was steaming the meat and steaming everything to get it to be soft. But this is gonna be my first meal. I'm super excited about it. This is one, this used to be one of my favorite staples. Um, it's pretty low in calories. So I'm just, I feel super excited right now. Um, my plan said I was supposed to have three ounces of meat. Three ounces of meat is a lot. These four meatballs were like 1.7 or 1.8 ounces, and that was like frozen, so probably like 1.5. I'm like trying to start lower, total maybe have three ounces of food, because that's what I've been able to hold down per serving of a shake. I do them in like three to four ounce little um, shake containers. Um, it takes me a long time to get through that. So with this, you're supposed to eat 20 to 30 minutes um, only, and you gotta chew your food 30 times each. So we're gonna see how this goes. But I just wanted to show you my meal. I'm so excited to be having some soft solids again. But yeah, 
Let's see how it goes. I'll give you an update. All right.